Hi, uh, welcome to Astro Journey UK. Uh, this is the uh, second part of uh, my video around sort of tuning my EQ5 uh, Pro mount. Uh, it's not that one, that's an EQ6R Pro. Um, but yeah, second video, uh, basically this is the assembly of the uh, mount itself. So the previous video uh, followed everything about taking it apart. Um, and now you're at the stage of basically re-greasing everything and then putting it back together again. So if you want to uh, understand how to uh, reassemble your EQ5 Pro mount, then uh, please keep watching. So uh, yeah, one thing in this video, uh, what I didn't actually do is sort of film any of the uh, the cleaning and re-greasing stages. Uh, it's pretty much just an assembly video now. So once everything's uh, dismantled, uh, you've basically got to clean everything up and degrease it. Uh, what I used for this was some uh, WD-40 uh, fast acting degreaser. I think it's used for bicycles and things like that. Um, you can get that from pretty much any uh, kind of hardware or DIY store, so it's fairly easy to come by. Um, so what I did was uh, sprayed that all over the uh, all over the different parts to get rid of all of the grease um, using just some J cloths or kitchen towel or something anything like that to uh, remove all of the grease from the um, from the mount and its various components. Um, uh, once that's done, what I also used was um, a bit of uh, basically metal polish. I think it's like called Brasso. Um, using that polish just to uh, polish up any of the surfaces and, and removing any um, any kind of nicks in the in any of the surfaces so that they're all nice and smooth. Um, you can also use some really really fine grain sort of wet and dry paper to um, sort of polish up and smoothen out those surfaces as well. But you need to be really really careful. These these pieces are all fundamentally um, machined to precision. And if you start sort of uh, taking away too much of the of the layer itself, then they're not going to fit as smoothly as they do, and your guiding will be worse than it was to start with. Um, so please take care with that side of things. Essentially, there's uh, two types of grease that you need, and you can get that um, as well from uh, Roth Valley Optics and potentially uh, other suppliers as well. Uh, basically, it's two different types of grease. There's one grease that you need to use um, that is kind of basically a a, a stickier type grease that doesn't move around as much and kind of stays in place and you need that on the uh, on the gearing and the worm drives um, and then there's more of a general purpose type grease that um, you use for all of the bearings and the shafts and things like that um, so yeah just just remember um, to yeah take a look at the um, the site that I'll put in the link in the description uh, to be able to get hold of the grease and uh, yeah make sure you use the right type of grease uh, for the right purposes so here you can see I've put the main bearing into the uh, right ascension axis. Uh, everything's all greased up, so greased the inside of the mount around the bearing and then just slid the bearing in. It, it sort of goes in quite nicely. Um, and then the next stage is to uh, put the right ascension axis together and uh, make sure that everything is greased there. So you can see here that the, um, the worm drive gearing um, has been put on. So there's the two nylon washers. Um, either side of that worm drive gearing. Um, grease all of those up with the standard sort of axle uh, grease, the type 2 grease. Um, put that into the, or slide that over the shaft. Um, also sort of greasing the inside of the shaft and, and the outside of the shaft so it slides on quite nicely. And then just rotate it around so that you're spreading evenly the grease all the way through the, uh, the, the shaft and the, the inside mechanism. Uh, before you actually assemble it, you'll also want to put the uh, Type 1 grease, that's the specific grease for the worm drive and the worm drive gearing. Um, put that and spread that evenly all over the, um, the teeth here. It's about a sort of centimetre wide section. Make sure that you don't put any of the grease on any other part of this particular uh, part of the mount because um, you need to keep the rest of it all sort of polished and free. Um, and then that's that bit done. And then after that, um, you slide it all the way through the right ascension um, axis. Um, and irritatingly, I didn't actually record this part. So you have to slide it through the shaft. Um, and then you've got, the, uh, you've got the, the bearings and the race that you took apart earlier on. Uh, make sure they're all suitably greased up and then slide those over the top. 
and then slide the uh, ring onto the uh, threaded section that you can see in the top right corner here. Um, slide that on and just sort of do it up tight enough so that it's not uh, completely loose and everything is, is roughly secured. So with the right ascension axis already installed, I've then greased the declination axis, so where the, the shaft goes through here to make sure, and that's with the, the standard axle grease. Um, and then you've got the shaft itself um, with the worm drive gearing and the nylon washers already installed and all greased up. So uh, yeah, just making sure that you've got the right grease in the big parts that move, um, that's one type of grease, and then the worm drive grease is always that different type of grease. And here you can see finally just the, the shaft is installed, um, rotating it round to spread that grease around the mechanism. Here you can see I've tightened up the declination axis with the circular ring and secured that using the uh, eyepiece maintenance tool. Next you want to then tighten up the Allen bolts, uh, two of them on this particular part of the mount, uh, so that that secures the ring. And what we want to do now is just put the setting circle back on and then tighten the ring um, in front of the setting circle to keep that in place. Now if we go back to the right ascension axis, what we want to do is just make sure that that's uh, circular ring is tightened up with the eyepiece tool and then also go round uh, tightening up all of the um, small allen bolts that are securing that ring in place. And next we need to fit the uh, dovetail bracket back onto the mount um, so just tightening it with the I think five millimeter allen bolt and once we've done that uh, we then get the declination uh, motor and then screw that into the uh, the declination part of the mount as well. Um, my particular mount is a bit fiddly really because um, the thread within the, the metal part of the bracket isn't really that great so I, I need to be really careful not to over tighten it but it still needs to be engaged with the gears correctly. And now just fix the right ascension setting circle back onto the mount. Before you fit the worm drive, what you want to do is uh, make sure that you've degreased everything and then re-greased with uh, fresh grease so that it's ready to be uh, reconnected. And now we're going to fit the right ascension worm drive gearing back in. Um, basically what we want to do here is just sort of screw the bolts in sort of tight enough so that it's in place uh, because you're going to need to make the sort of final adjustments later on. Um, this video won't cover the sort of tuning of the worm drive, but basically you want to um, get the worm drive gearing sort of tight enough so that there's no play and no backlash, but not so tight that the gears end up binding because obviously you'll, you'll increase the wear of the gearing, um, plus also it doesn't need to be that tight. And next we'll just... Uh, fix the right ascension motor to the mount uh, by threading the bolt all the way through the mount into the motor and tightening it up and it eventually it sort of uh, then brings the motor in line with the worm drive gearing. And the final step to this is to basically fix um, the plastic bracket that contains the declination RA axis um, sockets, so connect those to the motor and uh, yeah just tighten the screws up and, and you're pretty much done. The only thing that we haven't got done here is the screwing in of the polar scope but that just literally goes into the uh, end of the mount and you tighten up the polar scope and then, and then you're all done. So I hope that you found this video useful and uh, also you might have noticed some amusing parts where I'd had to uh, reverse the uh, disassembly videos because I didn't have videos of reassembling everything and uh, reversed it and then just did the voiceover over the top. Um, however, I hope, yeah, hopefully it was useful to you. Um, if you found it useful, definitely please hit that like button. Um, if you feel there's anything missing or any details, please put it in a comment and I'll uh, do my best to answer those comments and questions. Also, if you would like to uh, subscribe to future videos, then please hit that subscribe button and the bell and uh, you'll be notified of any future videos from me. So uh, that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching.